All right, Elite Code 3 here, and we are going to do a uh, Melbourne. Um, tons of new stuff to look at. We're probably going to see a little more football in this one than in uh, previous videos. But uh, this w might be the last uh, Melbourne before the National. So um, off we go. That's a nice one. Um, I can't remember if I have one of these in my Moss uh, registry. I've actually got a few Moss cards that, a um, couple that were in my, my the last PSA order video I did, uh, I think the first part of this week, that were not in the Master Set registry, and I felt like they should, so I'm going to send a request. Somebody told me how to do it, but I'll uh, figure it out. So, um, Season Opener Moss, this is just a cool card. These were... These dropped like in, in the summer of the 98 season. I, uh, I I never actually opened a pack of them, but um, they got they got really hot for a a little stretch, and it was outselling the base tops by a lot. But I think now they sell for about the same. So not not great. This is raw, like back like in 1999. <laughs> so um, of course there's a uh, a Randy Moss to get to. Um, the last one, the last uh, Melbourne couple of my uh, viewers mentioned to me that there was no uh, mandatory Vic, so I'd, I'd be surprised if we had two videos in a row without a Vic, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm just pulling straight from the bin. So I, I try to save a lot of my packages to, uh, you know, film and put on the channel just because it's fun to talk about the cards and it seems like people like to hear about the cards so I don't get to my mail as fast as I should probably and leave leave my feedback as quick as I I should but I'm, I'm going to improve that um, here's some more mosses I've just been trying to buy them raw and f try to uh, slab them so we have Skybox Thunder which has a nice uh, when he played for Marshall <laughs> These are just beautiful cards, especially the uh, raves and the super raves. Man, the uh, lighting is so much better at my office. Um, I, I did that bulls and bears video at home, and it just it just looks kind of cloudy or something. So uh, I think I'll I'll definitely try to make sure to do the next bulls and bears video at the office and just bring the cards in for the video I need. Um, I think that's a fun little series, and uh, it's just crazy how much cards. Um, move up and down. <coughs> so far we're having good packaging. <coughs> so this is for my uh, Fitzgerald registry. I'm not sure where I'm ranked. Um, but this is uh, one of the cards I needed in to PSA 9. I love picking up 9s. Um, you just pay so much less for them, and the, the card's still in such good condition. It's just, uh, it might have a cup, like a pushed in corner or a little scratch on the surface. It's like, it's not like a drastic, drastic difference from a 10, like some people might think. Um, they're actually pretty similar. 10's just a little bit nicer. So, um, next package. Here's a Harper. Um, so this was, uh, the way I believe it is, Bryce skipped his senior year of high school and went straight to JUCO um, in 2010, and he played for um, a team, College of uh, Southern Nevada, and uh, so he was like 17 years old, just uh, raking in college. There's actually a book that I read. I've, I think I've read like half of it, but it's called The uh, Last Natural. And uh, it's a nice little read on Harper. So um, that's a PSA 9 of the Juco one. I think that's on the registry. It, it, I mean, it should be. I feel like sometimes when I look at the PSA uh, registries, they put a lot of cards on that I don't understand why they're on there. And they, they leave off the, the big ones that definitely need to be on there. Um, here's just a PC item. So this is our new tailback. I don't know... Um, how many carries he'll get this year? Obviously, I can't see the future, but um, Kareem Hunt from Toledo looks to be a promising player. Um, he doesn't have the breakaway, you know, speed that Jamal Charles had. Uh, I think he ran like a four six, but I don't usually pay too much attention to the 
combine and all that. It's kind of like what happened to uh, Dalvin Cook, the tailback from uh, Florida State. He's a sensational player, but he didn't test good in shorts. So uh, I guess that means he's not good at football because he's because he's, he's not incredibly athletic in shorts. So I don't know. Combine can the combine to me. Um, isn't the end all be all and I, I don't think scouts think it is either i just think uh, sometimes there's too much stock but in a player's 40 yard dash um when he's not even in his uniform his uniform he's just you know in shorts doing it so here's a couple just filthy cards i mean it doesn't get much better than this um 98 so we got the moss and we got the uh peyton manning these are just sick these 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 get me all fired up um so this is the uh row two photo um this is a condition sensitive set there's usually like chipping at the top but i don't know if that just ca it comes out of the pack like that and then i'll have to take a look at the surface so on these i'm definitely going to send them in and I'm, I'm hoping for seven or higher but um i've i've gotten a six on one of these before so it's definitely not a gimme oh this is a one of one one of a hundred i'm just kidding <laughs> It's funny how people try to make every single copy of a card a uh, 101, but um, these are filthy, and they were I uh, sniped them in auction f format, and they went a lot lower than I expected, and it's great to pick up badass cards like that. And I did sell the, the Judge PSA 10 uh, refractor. Um, I know they were going for over 1000 for a little bit, um, and mine went for 700 so... I, I can't believe that. So I've, I've picked up some other cool. I'm gonna pick up some other cool cards with that 700. Um, that card was literally sitting in a Bowman draft, 20, Bowman draft 2013 box. I mean, it, it was in a penny sleeve, and I just pulled it. <laughs> and uh, I mean, it was like a three dollar card before the season. So that that's the craziest, one of the craziest uh, stories I've ever heard. Um, Bowman Interstate Moss, so this was probably like three bucks, three to five shipped, I'd say. <laughs> okay, this is one of the, the things where I'm trying to buy the card and not the case. So, um, GMA, uh, they're probably not not around anymore oh it's priced at 100 no i got this for like 15 bucks i think um and my hope was to at least try to get a psa 9 so it's gem mint 10 from their company and you know i don't know is the is the card cut or trimmed um let me just take a look at it <laughs> it looks pretty nice um that bottom right front corner i'm not so sure on that one the back looks pretty good i'll have to take a look at this um closer and if i if, if I like it, I'm, I'm most likely snap it and send it. So I have, I have a lot of fun buying these like lower tier grading companies that aren't around anymore, and just seeing you know is is a card in that good a condition or not? Because I've had I've had so many success stories where I've snapped one out from a company like that and got a PSA 10. So I'm not gonna stop. It's all about finding the uh, niches in the hobby. This is awesome, and I need it for the registry. Um, it's in good, looks in good condition too. So this is the Flare 2013 uh, Wave of the Future LeBron James rookie. Beautiful card. Um, I'm, I'm putting together the uh, LeBron Master and Rookie sets for the registry, and I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I'm not number one, and I don't know if I ever will be, but it's fun to try. Here's a thick one. <laughs> um, there's probably some badass stuff in this one, so let's let's open it. So this is PWCC. Um, I'm not gonna rant about his company this time. I feel like every video I'm just ranting about how good a company he runs and uh, these Jiffy Jiffy Riggy bags. These things that are so uh, just sturdy. So um, tons of stuff with them. Um, I placed a pretty big order. I don't. I I try to stay away from his stuff a lot of the time because his he does a, such a good job of selling, of uh, marketing and listing his stuff. And it sells at the top of the market, so I mean you're gonna pay at the top of the market most of the time. But there are some deals to be had. So um, looks like I was picking up some older cards. Um, not like the priciest cards, but we have a Schmidt 75 tops. I just 
if you guys if you watch my videos I always uh, talk about 75 tops so he's got the Tom Selleck stash it's just a cool looking card a nice eight of Bob Gibson um, I do not collect the uh, 75 sorry 75 tops uh, minis I'm, I'm just I'm not into uh, minis just I don't I don't like it <laughs> as a collector um, so an eight on this Gibson that's nice I'm gonna try to put together the Hall of Fame set for the 75 and then this was one that um, you know I was gonna take a closer look at because it's point not <clears throat> point five from a gem and um, you know if it looks nice enough I'm just gonna snap it and uh, send it to PSA so I think this was like 70 bucks um, PSA nines go for about 120 to 140 so I got a good deal on this one. It's just such a cool card. It's a California League All Stars Griffey. I don't even know how they. Um, I don't think these were in packs. I think they were just passed out at the game that way. Um, we have a 97 Donruss Long Ball Leaders. Not sure how tough this set is, but it is numbered on the back to 5,000 Ken Griffey Jr. I did not have this for my registry. I've talked about the. Uh, Griffey trying to go up higher in that one and I'm like I think I'm like 12 or something and I like no matter what I put in there I, I put in the most badass cards and I don't move up so I think there's just too many people that collect Griffey to move up that much um so I'm content with where I'm at and I'm like I said in past videos I'm not gonna buy cards I don't like just to get get up higher in the registry I just I don't feel like doing that I don't want to own cards I don't I don't like the, the appearance of or the set you know just to to move up in uh, some online registry, which the, it is cool, but I'm not going to get too crazy about it. Uh, 91 tops. Um, I think this is a this is the Tiffany, right? Because it's it's a different color on the back. PSA uh, messed up the uh, holder. I think it should say Tiffany. So um, I didn't have this one. So um, th th that's that's just a bummer. Because if I if I put it into the re registry, it won't pick it up as Tiffany because of what that says so maybe they'll fix that uh, holder for me for free or something I don't know um, this car <laughs> this guy needs to invest in some graded card sleeves you, you see the scratching on this thing look at that <laughs> it's like a filmy residue um, so it's a Lindor it's uh, the 2010 uh, 18 and under Bowman chrome usa auto it's a it's got that nasty sticker on it but it's numbered low that's why i liked it to 99 and uh it's also a snap candidate for sure um this card's beautiful love the donruss baseball's best but uh if you know me well i like the uh regular griffey donruss a little bit better so baseball's best i don't think there were packs of this uh somebody can confirm that for me 1990s kind of the first year I started breaking packs when I was about five or six so I didn't ever get my hands on any 1989 packs whoops at that time so and I was a fan of the uh, A's when I first started getting into baseball like when I was like six or seven I, I think in in uh, 91 I became a fan of Griffey I think I've told this story before, but back when I was a kid, back in my day, but um, uh, seriously, um, this is like probably like 1994, so I was about 10 years old, um, you know, I didn't have, I couldn't hop on my laptop and check, you know, highlights and scores, so uh, we were subscribed to the Kansas City Star, and you know, every day in the summer, or spring before school, I would uh, run out and grab the paper, and um, I would see if the Royals won and the Mariners, because I, I always cheered for the Mariners because of Griffey. So I would check that to see if they won and check like the box score. Yeah, but but of course I could watch a, a Sports Center too. But um, it was just cool getting the paper and if the team you followed played late, there'd be like an X by the game and it said like late late game not included. So it was just cool. Um, PSA five of the sixty tops, uh, Clemente beautiful card it's got a little like corner action going on surface scuffing uh, pretty common of what you're gonna get from a five but still a beautiful card v vibrant colors um, centering's really not that terrible and the back looks pretty good so
beautiful Clemente uh, recently slabbed as well. And I'm starting to get used to the new PSA uh, lighthouse holder. Um, somebody told me to do a video review on that one. And that's something I, I could still do. But I mean, if, I think uh, there's a little video by uh, the PSA president, Joe Orlando, where he kind of uh, sums it up very well. So I'm not sure how much I could add to it since <laughs> they created it. But um, so these were like 15 bucks or something. But it's uh, so here's the uh, the mandatories. Um, and he, he's got some BCCG 10. So if you guys watch my videos, I'm not, I, I think this is the biggest sham, w one of the biggest shams in the hobby, this Beckett Collectors Club grading. It's just a way, I, I mean, I guess there's, there's one positive, your cards are encapsulated and, and secured, but um, this nine near men or better, I mean, it's like so vague. And I don't even know if they still offer this service, because I think people kind of caught on to how, how weird it is. Um, so. This is the championship ticket out of 100, so he had three of them. He uh, dropped the price, cut me a deal. Um, I'm probably the only person that would have bought these for the price that I paid because it happens a lot with Vic. I just, I like him more than other people. So, um, three of them, they're all nines, and uh, those will all be snapped out of those cases. Those are nasty cases. It's like a, a Beckett bashing every video. I need to calm it down a little. Just some respect, right? All right, here we go. Here's some more of it. Oh, this, this, this was a great little lot. I thought there would be more 2017 football, but that might be the next batch, because this is probably mail from, like, I don't know, July 5th to July 12th or something. I just got to get to my mail faster. Man, these are wedged in there. I want to show you guys the cards real quick. I don't know. He taped them or something. Oh, yeah, they're scotched. There we go. And you never know. I give every card a fair chance at um, being slabbed. So but when they're shipped like this, the probability of that happening is pretty low. So um, just this one's out of twelve fifty. So this was like a dollar plus shipping. And they're all Vic rookies, you know, low, low end ones with the tops one, which is classic tops, and three of the MVPs. I thought that was a nice little lot for the Vic collector, like myself. Um, while wow, we're at 17 minutes, this has been a, a fun video to make. Um, this is a kid. Okay, I think I just bought. I think I just bought this one, and he sent all these for free. So that was that was uh, really cool of him. This is a kid that I'm pretty high on, uh, Victor Robles, Robles. I don't know how to pronounce it exactly, but um, he's a Nationals prospect. He's probably, he's rated top ten in baseball, and uh, that doesn't mean he's going to be a future star. But it'll be fun to see how he develops. Supposed to be a five-tool talent. Here's his Bowman Platinum from '16. So that to me, that's a rookie. Uh, Ozzy Albies from last year. To 99 that's a cool little green shimmer he should be up uh, here soon to play um, I think they're gonna put him at second base because of Swanson it's just a trout base I mean if this was if this looked good to me I'd, I'd send that in uh, and then I, he sent me a judge uh, opening day rookie Wow that was pretty cool of him he sent me like ten dollars in cards for no reason there are there are good people there are good people on these days And we're going to open this, and we are going to do a couple more packages. So um, this is a bonus. Here, here's another bonus. Um, it's a 2002 Leaf Certified Derek Jeter base. So that's a neat looking card, though. So this was a Jeter lot. Um, I think these were like five bucks per. And I've I've been buying these for months now. You know, getting them really cheap. But I, I don't think I've ever bought one rod turn it into a 10 it's just the cards have been sold and picked through so many times i think it's just tough at this point but i'm the kind of person that's stubborn i'm gonna keep at it <laughs> until i get one because um, you know you, you buy it for five and you grade it at 10 it's worth like 110 so it's just too much of a thrill for me to not do um 
So this is a lot of Vincent Askews. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know what's going on with this. I don't know how I feel about this shipping. I feel like if I shipped somebody a lot like this, I'd be getting an automatic negative, but it seems like I let a lot of things fly. Okay, this is a, a kid along the same lines as uh, Victor Robles. Ronald Acuna for the Braves. The kid's 19. He's already in AAA. He's raking. He's getting uh, well-known now. This would be a, a rookie to me. It's the Topps Pro Debut. And these cards are beautiful. I would, I would love to do some boxes of this stuff. So that's like, like 20 or 25 of them. God, this thing's in here good. Okay, we're here. Top scroll moss. We're going to end on this PSA 10. Beautiful card. Um, price on this one? Oh, th th this would be a great video for uh, bulls and bears because this would be a this would be a bear because this card was so hot in the fall of '98. It's nuts. Um, and I'm going to save it for a, a uh, bulls and bears video and talk about that. So that's it for this one. A uh, lot of cool mail. Um, the shipping was pretty good on these. Pretty safe and secure. And I'll try to get some more content uh, uh, this week. Later.